Good morning everyone, hope you're all okay. Right, this morning I thought I would pop on and show you some of the uh, fabric that I painted. Oh, several weeks ago, back in the summer, I saw, these are inspired by Josie. Josie, don't know how to pronounce your name, is it Gito? Josie Gito? Sorry if I've butchered your name. <laughs> um, by her and Amy Aljon. I'd done some printing on fabrics, so I had to have a go. Um, this is just some like, I didn't know whether it would work on this, <laughs> like some polyester satiny type fabric. Just did a big strip of that. I love doing this. Um, I i just use that stamp and some of my metallic paints for this one with it being a dark fabric and a circle top thingy and then when it had all dried I went over it with, I don't know whether you can see, but went over it with stickles in parts. Now, thank you ever so much Josie for showing us this. So that's that one, just did all squiggles and wiggles and lines and dots and doodles. Um, oh, jo um, Ginny's done some as well. Ginny wanted to see what I'd made. And then you can just rip them into rip it into shawl. Actually this this doesn't rip unless I'm trying to rip it the wrong way. But or oh, did it rip? I don't know, it looks as though it's been ripped. Can't remember now. I know one of the fabrics I used it wouldn't didn't seem to want to rip very well. I'm not up on fabrics and <laughs> Yeah, that's that one. Now where have I put my pen? It's there look. I did another one of those different colours. I've not put any stickles on that one yet. Another one, I like this one. I've just used some of this in a project, which I'll show you in a minute if I don't forget. <laughs> it's lovely. Now this is um, this was just a cream cotton. I think it was curtain lining or something. And I think this is. I think I sprayed it all. Yeah, it was just cream cotton, and I sprayed it with some of my. I've not don't have a lot of sprays, but just with some of my sprays first. And then when that had dried, just went over it. Oh yeah, this is a stencil. These are stencils, some little mini stencils. And it looks like I'd, say it's quite a while ago since I did it, it looks like I'd used stickles through the, yeah, stickles through the stencil. Stickles through the stencil. Try saying that when you've had some pop. <laughs> but that's really pretty, I like that one. And I did the same with a, again this is the cotton fabric, this rips lovely, that's pretty. And I think that was, yeah that was um, sprays again and then I think I'd stamped on it the circles and that, I think it was dilutions. And then gone over it with stickles but they, they're so pretty. I did an orange one. I think some of them, now then, I think, yeah, I think these, these two were the sprays that Nina gave me, Nina Ribena. I'm sure they were, and they are fabric sprays. Yes, they were. course with it being cotton it just goes through to the other side anyway so um, went 
over it with the just with stickles did I stamp on that one yeah I think I'd stamped with gold you can probably just see it faintly sorry I'm not even checking whether you can see <laughs> it's that one oh that's just a plain bit that I've dyed I've not stamped on that yet goes out of the way and then this one was just some sprays it might have been a mixture of my sprays I can't remember I don't know what had gone on there it's a bit anyhow that one isn't it but <laughs> anyway it's still pretty and then I've been doing a I showed you it last week well I actually probably showed you it two years ago <laughs> a, jigsaw, a jigsaw piece a big jigsaw piece um, and I'd started it off a couple, of, must be a couple of years ago. I don't think it was last year. And I'd done it all pink. I, I did two or three of them. And one of them I'd finished and I have shown that before. And it's gone out to somebody. But this other one, um, it's just been sitting in the naughty drawer since. <laughs> and I decided it's time it was finished off. So I shall show you. This is what it's turned out like and you can see um, I I think I think say it's two years ago since I started it but I think the underneath which you can't see much now this bit was like a gel thing which I did show in a video the other day a gel medium thing that I put on and I think it was um, alcohol inks just put alcohol inks over the top and that's how it stayed for two years that was it so i got it out last week and i used my stencil with some other just a minute let me get it excuse me if you got a glimpse of my big bum then no i don't think you would have done um yeah that's the gel that i used underneath and then that one is this and I'd got those when they was on offer um, but I mixed some per I think it was per just a bit of purple acrylic paint or something mixed it in with that because I didn't know whether it would paint afterwards I think it does but and then when that had dried I just went over it with the ink of golds in green and purple and then I didn't know what I wanted to do I was uh just a minute just a minute i've been playing about with some tyvek sh shriveling up tyvek and i've got some well i'll come and do another video another day to show you but i've got some i've made some into like little inch bits for inches and i've had great fun playing with that um the this particular piece i just got a i've been given a load of tyvek bags and I just painted it all with different colours of acrylic paints, let it dry and then shriveled it and put ink of gold on the top. So originally, I'm going off track aren't I again, surprise, surprise. Originally I wanted to use this on there but I just couldn't get it to look right. Um, so I knew I wanted to use some of this fabric. Uh, and then a bit of card how Nina had sent me one of her little pieces the other week and I love it so much I mean no this is nothing nowhere near as nice as Nina's but that doesn't matter does it uh, yeah so I knew I wanted to do something similar to that uh, but that when that didn't work I thought oh I know that might go with it because I'd finished that off the other day with my lolly sticks and my little centre out of the squashed up inky paper and some strands off of this fabric and I think that looks lovely but I'd put I'd punched all holes in the bottom because I decided I wanted dangles off of it like I did with the other one that I did and I had all my dangly things out and chains and every and I just it wasn't working for me I didn't didn't like it so in the end I've just decided to go with one long one down the middle 
and I like it now so then of course I have to cover the holes up and anyway I think I'd punch them too big but I just got some of the little roses that you get 10 million for a penny for from from China or well, probably a bit more than that but and then just went over those with ink of gold and I'm really pleased with that now and then again just for the little hanger I've used a piece of this material well oh no it wasn't it's not that it's um that this is a piece that I'd just a piece of ribbon that I'd painted and I've just tied that on stuck a bit of glue on the back to stop it coming undone so I am quite pleased with that and I've got to make some more of these I love these flowers now <laughs> See, I force feed Mr. Doodle. He has to eat these ice lollies, popsicles, whatever you like to call them. He has to eat them all so that I can craft. <laughs> like he needs an excuse. <laughs> but yeah, I quite like that now. And then I went round the edges with uh, Inca Gold as well. So, love it. Right, well, thank you very much for watching and I've waffled on for nearly 12 minutes, so I think it's time to go. Have a nice day, everyone. Take care. Bye.